and welcome back to a special Who Would Win for Mr. John. It's his birthday today, and luckily he did at least give me it a day prior, so I had a little bit of time. I just can't do the birthday suggestions the day of. That, that That's not fair to me. That's not fair to you. I just can't do something that quickly, but a day prior is fine. Unfortunately, the suggestion you had given was, I believe, like three or four characters. Uh, what was the suggestion you had actually given? Hold on. I got it right here. Uh, the suggestion you had given was, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four characters from Marvel versus, I'm assuming it's one, two, three, and whoever, the, one of them was a little vague on the other side. Yeah, a four on four fight between, the four, uh, uh, between eight characters overall. That's too complex and too busy to do in a short span of time. If at all, I I need like prep time for that one just to be able to create the image properly. Uh, if I can, and then I have to figure out if that will even fit in the thumbnail. That's a lot of characters, dude. So I'm sorry about that. But you did still have a birthday today. So I wanted to at least do one of the ones you had on your request list. <clears throat> and one of your suggestions was Endeavor from My Hero Academia versus Hot Streak from Static Shock. Both are, fi are py basically pyrokinesis. Both are both able to produce their own fire, but both have a few different abilities to them. Hot Streak is a bang bang bee who was given fire pyrokinesis through the meta. I don't remember exactly what it was called, the uh, substance, but through the Big Bang, if you will, was given pyrokinetics. He's able to produce fires, a lot of fire fire based effects, including launching yourself like a rocket, producing fireballs, maybe a wall of fire here or there. I think it's this punches with fire if he ever gets into a physical altercation and most importantly he can absorb pretty much a near infinite amount of heat uh, that's going to become very important in this type of fight as endeavor also is a fire metahuman obviously in my hero academia fire abilities are a little bit different abilities are different they're not mutations they're what well, they are but they're not called mutations they're quirks and his quirk is called hellfire which produces fire he's constantly be able to produce fire from all points of from most points of his body anyway he always seems to keep a constant amount on when he's in hero mode uh never at once it's extinguishing it and he's capable of doing a lot of different abilities including flying himself producing multiple forms of fire including like fire like whips fire blasts walls of fire torrents of flames <clears throat> his prominence immolation i believe is called is basically a super concentrated uh, heat blast that essentially incinerates something, whatever it um, gets a hold of, uh, which actually explains how, or explains, shows how durable someone like Shikaraki was that he could withstand it, albeit turned into a night Mr. Crispy afterwards. Words. <clears throat> uh, we all seen that he's, uh, he's got enough control that he can actually kind of walk on, run on walls and melt concrete and other solid materials like metal, the, he can get his fire that hot. The downside for Enji Todoroki, which is his true name, is that his body is only capable of handling so much of it before it overheats his body and he's taxed for a while. Quirks in My Hero uh, Academia are not like mutations in X-Men. They have physical limitations, just like our bodies do. They're still physical abilities, and therefore our bodies can only do so much of those abilities before they're tired out. Uh, and there, this is no exception to the rule. So who would ultimately win in a fight between these two? It's a it's a tough question, honestly, because uh, they both do have immunities to heat, uh, and Endeavor does seem to have immunities to his own uh, to fire as well. But he can tax himself out. So if he's taxed, I don't know if he would be affected by heat or not. My guess is he could be, just as Todoroki is not immune to heat either. Uh, Shoto isn't. So that has to be taken into consideration. Whereas next is do either of these guys, seeing as they're both immune to each other's firepower more or less, more or less are either of these guys capable of hitting the other one with enough power to overwhelm them, stop their immunity, which it doesn't look like uh, that it would be the case, or find a different way around their defenses. And that's really going to be the key thing here. Hot Streak would obviously be the antagonist here and probably be the aggressor. Fire, you know, he attacks N N NG. NG probably delivers his face like, surrender now and I'll, I'll go easy on you. I don't need some upstart punk. I don't need some punk upstaging you. Oh, you're upstaging me. You're, I'm upstaging you, old man. Sorry, my phone's putting on 
Kickstarter. I'm upset. You all, man. <laughs> Sorry, you're the young, old, you're the last, or the old generation. I'm the new, uh, new stuff. The hot streak. And I'm gonna, then I'm gonna roast you to Sanders. And just, he blasts and you just like, all right, fine. Ha <laughs> ha. And he's just, you know, and you throws fireballs or whatever. Is that the best you got? You can't touch me, man. I'm too hot. And and you just getting sick of this. And we're. At, or unfortunately for, I can't remember what his name, Francis, I think is what his name is. Unfortunately for Francis, unfortunately for Hot Streak, where he unfortunately falls short in this fight is actually every other category away from fire abilities. Fire abilities, him and Endeavor, are very similar. Endeavor probably has the overall greater firepower, but his ability to absorb heat pretty much counters anything NG would throw at him. The other, there are other abilities, including actual hero experience or actual experience in combat training and physicality all of those go on endeavor's side as we can tell endeavor is a huge dude like even without his quirk he is physically a formidable dude a for formidable dude like he could easily beat most like well-built guys in a fight with no issue and he can use his fire to enhance his punches so if they, uh, if you know, if he squares on, it's like, is that the best you got? All of a sudden, if a debtor comes and just, that best you, boom, and just uh, cracks him in the jaw, just, boom, uh, you, and then just, boom, starts beating the crap out of him. Well, unfortunately, because uh, Endeavor's also got fire immunity, Hot Streak's done. Add on to the fact that he's a more, he's just had a long, been doing this much longer than this guy has, than Hot Streak has. And has had more experience and has better battle tactics. Yeah, Hot Streak would ultimately lose this fight. Now, I mean, their first initial confrontation would very much be a bit of a draw. But ultimately, when Endeavor decides to go beyond, uh, you know, using just his fire, fist to fist, especially because he also wears a suit with some metal gloves on it, fist to fist. Oh no, uh, Francis is Francis is done. He's he's being put down on the ground. So my conclusion is I would go with uh, Endeavor in this fight. But this is just my opinion. What do you think of the cons below? Do you think Hot Streak would actually win this fight? Let me know. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you folks for the next one. I've got Avatar tonight, and there will be another Who Would Win tomorrow because that's what was going to happen. And I got to pre-record my What If for Saturday because I got plans on Saturday. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.